today I'm going to be testing out this product that is new to me. It's been on the market for a while. It is a um, an ink refresher product by Ranger. And the idea is that if you have a dried up um, dye ink pad, and it says it also works on pigment ink pads as long as they're water based, um, then this can bring your ink pads back to life. I did take a break from crafting for a couple of years. And I did notice that some of my ink pads, as they've sat, um, need, they need some attention. So I bought this product to give them that attention. And I don't know much about using this product. I haven't watched any videos on it or anything. So you're going to see what I learned just as a consumer straight off the shelf. So it says to hold the bottle 6 to 8 inches from the pad and miss the entire surface. Use two to three sprays or more if the pad is very dry. Allow it to soak in for a few minutes and then test it on a scratch piece of paper. It also says it works on markers. You have to remove the end cap or the nib of the marker and then refill the marker uh, reservoir. So let's get started with testing out this ink refresher. Well, first up, I wanted to take this product and just see how it compared to plain water. So I grabbed my water sprayer and this product and I opened them both up and I started playing with it and when I got to the ink refresher and I was feeling it to see how it compared to water um, it does definitely have a different texture to it it wasn't evaporating very quickly or at all and it had this slippery slightly tacky feel to it so it definitely has something in there that's above and beyond just adding water to rehydrate an ink pad. This first ink pad that I'm going to show you has been well loved so it's possible that it has had the pigment used up from it rather than it's just been dried out so let's see how it does. So the first thing I'm going to test with this ink refresher is a Delicata Gold Glitz ink pad. I've had this ink pad for quite a while. The last time I went to use it, it was pretty dried up. And I decided to go ahead and buy a replacement ink pad um, before, before I decided to get the ink refresher. So I thought it would be an interesting experiment to give you a view of what a brand new ink pad would look like versus one that had been... Um, possibly restored with this ink refresher. When I'm testing out these ink pads, I'm going to test them on black and white cardstock. Um, these pigment ink pads should show up on both, and that's why I'm using both. And as you can see here, I'm tapping my stamp onto the ink pad, and it's really having a hard time picking anything up. Um, like I said before, it could be that uh, it's just out of pigment versus it's not uh, versus that it's just dried. So we will test that out when we get to the refreshing part. And it's hard to see all the color on the camera, so I'm going to kind of angle it up for you to catch a glimpse. Um, there it is. Um, you can see it much better on the black here, but obviously it's not a complete and solid image. So we're going to compare that to this brand new fresh ink pad. So as you can see, it picked up the ink much more quickly right away. So that means that it's got plenty of moisture and plenty of pigment. And uh, here I am stamping it next to the other one. And you can see right away that it has much fuller coverage. It's shinier and glossier and just looks better. And here you can really see the dramatic difference on the white cardstock where it instantly shows up as being a gold product. Now that we know what it looks like to compare an old ink pad to a brand new ink pad, let's move on to trying to restore the old ink pad and see if it makes any difference with an ink pad that's been well used over the years. I've put down a mat underneath my ink pad just to protect my work surface from overspray. And I'm just going to follow the instructions and give the pad um, it says about three sprays. I went ahead and doubled it, so um, I'm giving it a good coating of the refresher. And let it sit. So here it is after it's been sitting to give it some time to work and soak in. And right away you can see that it's picked up more color more quickly. And as I stamp it on, now you can see it's neither as dark as the brand new one, nor as pale as the old one. So we've got kind of an in-between situation. 
and there on the black cardstock it actually looks better than it did on the white cardstock. We've got much more full coverage going on. Now the camera here is just a little bit deceptive because in person the brand new ink pad certainly looked way more full and on this white paper you can tell the difference and that was true on the black paper too but the camera's not picking up quite as well. So the brand new ink pad was better, but the ink refresher did help quite a bit with this ink pad, which I was a little surprised by because I thought um, the color of the ink pad had been used up most of the way. Here I wanted to um, do a little bit extra trial with this ink refresher, and I had resprayed um, my ink pad with uh, more refresher just to see if it would make any difference to uh, the quality of the stamping. So I sprayed it, let it sit, and here I am doing another stamp to compare all the different possibilities. Okay, we've got it stamped uh, multiple times on the black paper and multiple times on the white paper. So I'm gonna give the camera a bit of a close-up view of um, these different qualities of stamps. And those three in a row at the top there, uh, the, the leftmost one was pre-refreshing, and then we've got a mid-level refresh and a higher um, level refresh. And those all looked pretty good, but you really do notice the difference on the white card stock. Uh, the pigment just wasn't there in the refreshed version versus the brand new ink pad. So I'm probably not gonna keep this refreshed ink pad and I am just going to stick with the brand new one because um, it does seem like the pigment is mostly used up. Moving on to ink pad number two, we have a dried up, another um, metallic pigment ink pad. And this one really is dried up versus um, having been well loved. So you can see I'm tapping this ink pad on to my stamp and it's really not transferring much of the pigment. You can see streaks and lines from the edges of the ink pad where it's less dry and then from the center of the ink pad. So I give this a go on, again on my black and on my white paper and you can see there on the black that it's hardly showing up at all. And I'm re-inking it to uh, give it a go on the white paper. And the really interesting thing about this ink is as I show it to the camera you can tell that most of the quality of the ink has vanished and on the white paper you can actually see a blue shadow that's left behind because some of the um, pigment just isn't picking up and transferring properly. So I go ahead and give my ink pad a couple of spritzes. It's a small one, so I just use a few for this go and let it sit. And right away, the ink is transferring much more smoothly. I'm still getting some of those lines, but part of that is just that it's a tiny ink pad. But as I tap and blend, uh, those lines are disappearing because the ink it has become creamier just from hitting it with the refresher. And here we go, stamped right next to the previous one. You can see right away a big difference. Much more coverage there than from the dried ink pad. Moving on to the next stamping on the white cardstock. Here is the big reveal, ta-da! It actually looks metallic now. And as I pull it up closer for the camera to see, you can see that um, there's still an undertone of that blue color because I think this ink pad is more of a copper color. So you are gonna get a blue undertone, but you definitely pick up the metallic color that should be in this ink pad. And I am quite satisfied with how the ink refresher did for this particular ink pad. And I'd just like to say again that um, the camera isn't doing it justice. It looks much crisper and clearer in person. And finally, I have one last ink pad for you. And this one is a Distress Ink by Tim Holtz. And as you can see, as I'm trying to ink up my stamp, it's not picking up a lot of ink initially. But after a few stamps, it gives me, I don't know, maybe half coverage or so. Um, but to, with just a couple taps, like you should be able to do with a good ink pad, um, it, it's not really giving good coverage. So I go ahead and give it a squirt with my ink refresher and I will set it aside and come back. And here we are back with the ink pad and I will give it another go. And when I tap my ink pad on it, it's not picking up a lot of ink still. And I have to give it a few more taps in order to get it 
uh, covered enough to get a good impression. And when you see here, it's stamped side by side with my first impression. It has more coverage, but uh, not as good as it could be if it were a brand new, really juicy ink pad. So you can see, yeah, it's better, but it's not great. Um, I might try giving it a few more squirts and give it another go, but so far, not the best. Moving on to some markers, uh, I pull out these markers that uh, I've had, I think they're Marvy. I bought them for a particular technique and then never really used them much. And when I would go back to use them, I'd pull them out and they would be dried up. And I was very frustrated because they were brand new markers, hardly ever used. And they are double ended, but I am just going to show you using this refresher on the main felt end that I do use. And the instructions say to pull out the nib and to add refresher into the well of the pen. Um, so I had a an eyedropper just from something else and I used a pair of tweezers that were intended for Copics, but they work just fine here. And I try to follow the instructions and I take a, just a couple drops of this refresher and add it into the barrel of the pen as the instructions say to do. Then I just let it sit for a little while to try and activate and do its thing. Now with each marker, I wanted to test out adding a different amount of activators. So you can see they were kind of equally dry. And that marker at the bottom, I added two drops. And I shook the marker just to make sure it wasn't leaking or running anywhere with the activator. And you can see with the two drops of activator, it didn't really seem to do anything. It didn't help refresh that ink at all. With the three drops for this orange marker, I shook it and nothing was leaking. Um, it looks like maybe there's a tiny bit of difference, but in person, it really didn't seem to make much of a difference. And then with this top blue marker and four drops of activator, it does look again like maybe there's a little bit of a difference, but in person, again, it just didn't seem to be enough of a difference to really matter. So I am going to move on with these markers and give something else a try. Here I added more refresher to these pins and then tipped them upright to try and have gravity help me out with their, um, with their activation. And as you can see with the purple down at the bottom, again, not much difference. Here's the orange, not much difference, I'm not satisfied. And with the blue, even with multiple drops of activation multiple times, no difference, not working. Moving on here, you can see I have other markings on my paper where I tried something else that didn't work. And I'm going for yet another technique. So I'm taking the nibs out and on this one, I'm just adding a direct drop of water just to see if I can get that uh, felt nib to hydrate. And then for this orange one, I am adding a direct drop of the ink refresher to see if there's any difference between water and the ink refresher in trying to get these things to rehydrate themselves. And I let them sit and uh, hang on to them. And I come back here to give them a try. And the big reveal is nothing. So the water here on this purple one did no good. And then for the orange and the ink refresher, again, nothing. So these markers, for some reason, when they've sat over time, just went bad. And I don't know how or why, but nothing is helping to bring them back to life. I hope this review of the ink refresher gave you an idea on what to expect if you have some products that need some refreshing and love. Um, it may or may not work for you depending on what your situation is. So I wish I had a better answer for you, but sometimes when you're experimenting, you get the answers you get. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and get notifications for my future videos.